Hi everybody. So your J advanced exam is almost here. It's for this day you have been working so hard for so long now. Isn't it? And I know how badly you want 28th August to be your day. Right? And trust me, I want the same. But let's just imagine a realistic situation. So you've studied day in and day out. You are well versed with the syllabus. You have revised multiple times. You've practiced a lot. But just consider the situation. On the day of the exam, you see a question. You are familiar with that variety of question. You kind of have an idea of how to crack it. But the result or the formula uh, over which that question is based upon, you are not able to recall it. You're trying hard, trying hard, but somehow it's not striking. You know it's somewhere there in your system, in your memory, but it is not getting revived. <sighs> so irritating, so disappointing, right? You know, this problem of not being able to recall the right things at the right time is a very scary situation to be in. But the reality is 99% of the students face it. And I know you don't want to be in those shoes. So let's understand how can we avoid it. And first of all, why does it take place? Because at the end of the day, one thing which we cannot afford at this point of time is our efforts not getting converted into marks. Right? So let's get started. Firstly, let's understand why does it happen that even when you've studied something so nicely, it doesn't pop up in your head when you need it the most? Okay, suppose you have a very good quality plastic bag, you've kept something inside it and then you've sealed the bag firmly. So it's tightly packed. Now you take that bag, that plastic bag and you keep it under running water. What will happen? Will any drop of water be able to enter the bag? No, right? No matter how much is the force of the water, it's a good quality plastic bag, not even a single drop will be able to enter the bag. Right? This is exactly what happens within us. When you fill yourself with feelings of doubt, self-doubt, fear, anxiety, restlessness, impatience, pressure and stress, all these negative emotions bond together and create a wall, an unbreakable wall. This is that wall which prevents your mind from working efficiently. This is that wall which stops all those results, all those formulas, all those concepts to enter the mind when you need them. You know, all these negative emotions, they are so evil but their power is that they are extremely strong and they can cause you immense amount of harm and give you no good. So the only way that you can help yourself is to break that wall. And how can you do that? That's the next question. So what's the medicine to treat this issue? Well, the best medication is meditation. Now, by meditation, I do not mean that you have to imitate the monks and meditate for hours and hours. No, I'm just using the word meditation very loosely here to emphasize upon the importance of being in the present, being in the now. Especially when you are so close to your exam, what is your focus? Your focus should not be to feed your brain with more and more excessive and excessive new information. No. Instead, your focus should be to make sure that all that you already know is cemented well. And for that, some very handy and easy peasy ways which you can opt for to meditate are number one, just sit in a quiet place at least for 10 to 15 minutes. Close your eyes and perform breathing exercises. Four counts breathe in, four counts breathe out. Four counts breathe in, four counts breathe out. Or what you can do is simply sit, close your eyes and observe your breathing pattern. Because if you are stressed, your breath rate increases, your heart, heart rate increases. You start breathing in and out very, very fast. So this is a check 
on how you are breathing, how you are feeling. So what will happen when you consciously observe your breathing patterns, your inhalations and exhalations and the pace at which you are doing so, it will automatically send a signal to your brain to calm down. Okay, another thing which you can do is that if you enjoy writing, you can opt for journaling. Pick up a piece of paper and pen down all your feelings, all your emotions, whatever you are feeling or thinking, just pen it down on that piece of paper. The only condition is it should end on a positive note. Or what you can do is if you're someone who enjoys dancing or playing some musical instrument for 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and evening, I would suggest strongly, please do that. Do that. All these are forms of meditation. All these will help you come to the present, come to the now. All these will kill the negative emotions of anxiety, of stress, of restlessness, thereby breaking the wall. Got it? Okay, time for a fun fact. You know all the best sports people in the world? They have coaches who work on their mind training. You would be wondering why? Because these sports people, they have to play on the ground under the pressure of millions of people watching them with expectations. They have to perform even after crazy media present there. They have to give their best even if they have gone through a heartbreak or lost somebody dear to them. This means that sports is not only physical. Anybody can get physically fit, anybody can get physically tough. Sports is mostly a mental game, just like your J-Advanced paper. It's driven by your mind. It's driven by what goes on the inside of you. It's your inner world which drives the outer world. So you have to work on what is unseen so that what is seen comes out to be beautiful. Now, after meditation, the next tip that I want to share with you, extremely effective, is our number one is the king. What do I mean by that? After you wake up, the first hour is extremely precious. It should be spent very wisely and very, very consciously because it plays a dominating role in deciding how your entire day is going to be spent and how your mind is going to function. So after you wake up, the first couple of hours, please avoid using social media. Please avoid watching television, reading newspapers or talking to people who speak negative to you or in any way hamper your confidence or make you feel unproductive. In the first couple of hours after you wake up, your focus should be to preserve your energy, to save your headspace from getting polluted. Because the fact is, if the first couple of hours you are able to control your mind, the entire day you will be able to do so successfully. And that is something we are targeting to ace our examination, right? And last, but definitely not the least, is smile. Yes, you heard me right. It is so underrated, but an extremely powerful tool to break that wall of negativity that is preventing you from giving your best. You know, whenever you feel stressed, anxious, restless, just consciously remind yourself to smile. Unnecessarily, but smile. It's a game changer because it's a psychological treatment. It sends a signal to your brain and makes you believe that everything is fine, everything is pleasant, everything is under control. And the moment you feel that things are in your control, you get that boost of confidence and you get motivated, which is exactly the state of mind that we are chasing because that will make us win the battle. So, in a nutshell, in whatever little time that's remaining, well, you should prioritize one thing, which is spending time with yourself in isolation. That's the first thing. Now, you can do so by performing breathing exercises or you can even look in the mirror, look yourself in the mirror and talk positive. Basically, give yourself positive affirmations to build that self-belief, that self-confidence. Or what you can do is journal. Or what you can do is just 15-20 minutes of dancing or singing or playing some musical instrument. All of this is going to work wonders. 
Second thing, what you should be protective of, extremely protective of, the first couple of hours after you wake up. And the last thing is smile. Do not forget to smile. It really has the power to ease your troubles away. On this note, it's me, Bhumika, signing off. People, all the very, very best. I hope you kill it in the exam.